Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discussed how to send email. Once you can register, we need to send email after he verify. So we will discuss all thing in last video. So in this video we can continue like a login, like a sign in. Suppose you are at your email address and you can add a password. So he need to log in and also suppose his email is not verified. So we can send email again and he need to verify his email address. So we can cover in this video. And I want to request you are new in the channel otherwise in this series. So please press the subscribe button and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploaded, so always get the notification. And do you want to buy any scripts? Just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it. You can see it here. Okay. And do you want to do like a freelancer works? So just contact Telegram, Skype and WhatsApp. But always we are prefer only Skype. So let's start now login system inside a e-commerce projects. So first of all, you need to open your code and just go to resources, views, inside you can go layouts and add a dot blade dot php. Otherwise you can go to app dot blade dot php. Okay, just let's make some minimize so you can see it proper way. So here there is a, like a one pop up we have already comment out. Here you can see it like a sign in code and here you can see it like a login code. Okay, so just remove the username because we need to do only email address wise. So email address. And here is a password so just you can check like uh, name is equal to password you can put here and also you can put name is equal to email and both is required okay once you can click on the button so we need to call the ajax and we can do it and here is a checkbox there so here you can make like a name is remember so sometimes people don't want to log out so you can make a is remember laravel authentication already provide these reasons okay and here is a forget password once we can develop login register after we can do is a forget password means register to already done once we can done register login part after we can do forget password so we need to work first login so just you can copy like these things means a form and you can put here and just you can change your id submit form login no need a registers very simple very easy so please carefully watch what I did first we have created proper form like a name we have did emails and here password after we have did here is a like a remember so just is remember we have pass here and here is a login button and email address and password just make a is a capital so look like a professional after we have created like one form id submit form login same thing we have did last time submit form register so just copy for this name and just scroll down so here we have did about a login work so just copy all thing and paste here and after you can change the name means here you can change the id and here you can make auth login okay and you can put like a comment once we can log in not log in we can verify everything after we can show here data okay what we can show so just you can make auth login go to routes inside web and here you can see it scroll down so here you can see it like a auth register just copy above routes and put bottom and you can just change auth login auth login go to auth register so what we can do app http controller and he, here you can see it auth controller just scroll down so here you can write new function otherwise you can write above new function whatever place do you want to like you can like as like a login register you can see it we have provided already here name means auth register not auth yes auth auth login okay whatever function name you are provided so we need to pass here and here we need to pass like our request so we know okay what request we are getting here simple dd request and all let's save these files and just go back again and refresh the page and after we can submit the our testing data okay so let's go to networks and you can see it login and i can put a test at gmail.com i just click on the sign in so you can see it. okay post method not allow so let's go to back again and we can check because i have not saved this file this reasons okay let's go back again submit so you can see it like 500 and here you are getting emails and password suppose i will make remember me and i just press again so you can see it is remember also available okay so everything data we are getting inside a controller 
so let's start our authentication code so it's very simple very easy just go scroll up and you can see it remember just copy this and paste here suppose you are getting the remember just going to change our name here whatever getting is remember so you can put here is remember suppose you are getting here anything so it's going to true otherwise it's going to false so he's getting the data after what we can do we need to make some validation so auth attempt emails is equal to emails password is equal to password is a is admin no so here you can remove we don't want to take like this whatever user login we can do also status is equal to zero means the active and also is delete is equal to zero means is a not account deleted okay so means everything is right so it's going to inside and user can log in successfully so here i can make tet json status is equal to true and here i can make status is equal to false and here i can pass message please enter a correct email and password and last one you can do it like echo json and code same thing we did inside a register time now here we need to check another thing like you can you also you can trap message like success okay it's just very simple just you can do it success here okay now here we can check again like his email address already verified cannot verified so simple if is not empty like activation part inside go email verify at auth user so this is going to inside otherwise going to else part so here we need to send again emails so please verify your email address like this message also show and we can show you like a false okay and here we can change the message your account not verify your email address so please verify again your account email not verified whatever message you can type it is your dependency just i type my way okay your account email not verified please check your inbox inbox and verify and here you can type again mail function simple you can copy and paste whatever did inside a register time so just you can put and here you can get the data about save so save is equal to users and here already done like a get single function so auth users and here you can put id okay and after one send email after we need to log out auth log out so this is the login code of inside a controller otherwise everything is done okay next point we need to check inside a app side like a, our model side so just you can do like this alert data message so which time do you want to show message inside a else part suppose you are getting status is equal to true so means location reload means is like a refresh the page successfully login suppose we are status is equal to false we are get so whatever message in here we can pass like here so this message can show because of here json you can see data type is equal to json okay so let's try is working not working this function i already explained last video but i can show you again register mails you can see it suppose do you want to see app inside a mail so you can see register mail and here e-commerce validation emails and we are sending some emails like very basic emails you need to verify like this you can see you are almost ready to start enjoying benefit of e-commerce like this okay i already show you last video so you can follow the last video so you can easily understand but i have made here condition and other point we will check like his password is equal to password email is email and status is equal to zero means is active suppose i am going to here users in e-commerce so you can see it status is equal to active means zero means active is delete is equal to zero means is not deleted so all condition i have a check inside of authentication time also remember me means is a you need to make remember me so you can pass on suppose you are checked so is a true and unchecked so is false okay 
so this is the done so let's test now is working not working you don't want to refresh the page just click on the login button so you are getting the data here please enter correct email address password but let's refresh now after i can show you because of we ever work some front side this reasons okay so let's go to and test whatever you can try so you can see please enter correct and email and password let's go to our and test to at the gmail.com because this is the already verified emails so we can try another email so is not verified okay this email address and password i think we have always did one two three four five six and just click on the login button so you can see it's taking time because of mail trip is sending emails and after you can see it one pop up once email sent done so taking few seconds more because of is a mail trip suppose i open my mail trip so you can see your account email your account email not verified please check your inbox and verified you see suppose i go to my mail trip accounts so you can see it proper way so don't worry it's taking few seconds and my mail trip is opening coming soon you can see like high test like this you see i just click on the verified so we are not make like a sweet alert this is not showing once we can implement here sweet alerts after here we can showing the automatic pop up now i will click again login buttons so you see page is refresh means this user has been logins because email already verified once i click now after i click on the login so you can see it verifies and this user can log in let's show here log out so you can see is login not login so just go to resources use inside layouts inside header.blade.php just scroll down so here you can see it like a login button mm, let's search so i can do it very quick you can see login button here you can make one conditions if auth check is not empty so going to here otherwise going to else part same as a login buttons okay and here you can make like a same thing you can copy and paste above one so we can do it very quick and here you can make log out and simple you can copy paste also otherwise we can make here dashboard whatever do you want to like but right now we can log out after we can implement like a dashboard after we can do it and here already created one routes for the log out button so you can see it admin log out just go to log out admin and we can redirect to urls like a home page for the admin log out because we don't want to create a new one this is the reason okay just copy and paste here you can see because of we have already redirect to direct home page i hope you can understand what i say let's go back again and we can try let's refresh the page so here need to show like a log out button you see and i press the button log out so is refresh and here you can see again login button let's try again test at the rate gmail.com and login test at the rate test i think this email address also not verified test at the rate test here you can see it. so he sending the emails here you can see another email you can find out now just click on the verified so it's automatic verified and i just click on the login so you can see login automatic showing here log out means login work done so next video we can start about like a checkout page login register all done with verify email address with login so all done i hope you are clear and so next video we can start like a checkout one like we already done like a checkout means place order i hope you are clear in this video so what do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions